happy late Halloween, guys, and also happy November. Uh, in goaded costume. This is a pretty goaded costume. I guess, I guess he's making it on the on the video. First one, is, in fact. Also, first video in a while, but I mean, definitely kind of excellent work here. Going all, through all the effort to spray paint this, spray paint all this cardboard green and getting these greens as well. And even the top, that is, that is truly amazing. Good costume. I mean, maybe it's from last year, but still very good costume. Tiny little Kiwi drive because I got bored. All right. It's pretty cool. Not really any suggestions there. All right. Day three. Yeah, I'm starting to get high stake flashbacks yeah i agree this is a it's like a put in three three blocks in at once lady brown oh yeah you can see the lady brown structure there it looks pretty fast let's use he's, he, i mean you have a very like what is that a very thin in width that's how you say it uh banded roller layer i mean i don't mean it's probably okay but like I see a lot of teams running flex duels and just have to go across the whole thing, and that's pretty nice. Oh, like this team up here, right? You have much wider intake. If you do that, that's what it looks pretty nice. I think it's. I mean, it's, it's nice. After almost eight hour drive, ready for comp tomorrow. Hope you guys did well at the comp. Take a look. Yeah, you got the scoop. Every robot starting out very very similar. It's just all rake one, and and that's how it do be sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully, in, in a different year, there will be a game where, where bots will look very different again, and it will be cool. And But it won't be this year, because because everyone is just snacky or, or Rayquan and the Double Park, which is, which is, you know, that's fair. But about this robot, though, it, it looks looks pretty good. Like, uh, like I said before, well, I haven't made a video like this in so long i've just been been working on stuff but anyways you cut your flaps i don't know if there's any tech in that maybe it's just to avoid stuff getting getting caught but that wouldn't make sense because this one isn't cut so i don't know overall a lot of usage of of vc channels well where you could be using one by ones but who really cares about weight anyways right so it's pretty nice Let's look at the video. Okay, okay. Also, if you were trying to join this server, it is in my my YouTube bio now again. It's, now the link is fixed. I think we lost the the custom link, so we're back to the the bum link. But it is fixed. Check your Halloween candy and also robots. Damn, he cut this. He cut the Twix bar in half. Check, make sure there's no drugs in there or something. Robot. Okay. Interesting. We got a. This is a basket, or what is this? Goes around. What goes around comes around. Type of robot. Not too sure, but you know it looks looks interesting. It certainly is less seen than the the Rayquan robots. All right. I watched this already. It, there's music in the back, so I'm not gonna play it. Happy Halloween. Also a robot pick. Nice. We have a pumpkin. Well. Well carved and in robot. Okay. Well, you said it's old it's an old bot, but still we can make some some comments here. Especially like what is going on over here? Like what is this? A huge thing I realize is like look when you have your 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 ch chain tension like this and you have your like floating into here, right? When you imagine it as like a lever system when this goes up right the chain would get untensioned and your chain would skip and even worse your chain could just fall off completely right so instead of putting the chain here like this it would be smart to put it as close to the pivot point as possible right um, and if you can't do anything of that then you can add a tensioner right basically sprockets or a standoff on a rear end that would push the chain up or down and make sure it's always taut and it's you know not able to just come off right when this goes up i don't know if you guys are having that issues but uh from the looks of this it looks like there could be there could be those issues right uh, unless unless this is screwed in 
which I, did, which I didn't notice at first, but if this is screwed in, then then this is, isn't a floating intake. It's just a it's just a one by one bar. Then I'm like, what are you doing? But you know, you guys, you guys are a different breed. Nice. You got some aligners up here too. Pretty cool. Dang. Yeah, this is heavy. If you have any of the old solenoids, just use those. Those are so much lighter. Those are those are much 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 lighter. Anyways. Uh, you got your spacers between this pretty nice build to be honest You know, it's pretty cool. I don't wonder what this rocket is doing down here. It's interesting with this rocket down here I guess it's for a counter roller Man. All right, pretty cool comp in three hours okay. Hope you did well with the Rayquan bot Once again, the one bots are just so easy. It's just the front to back It's triangle front to back Right, if you're building a robot, you should usually try to design it as a triangle, right? That's the most like effective, efficient way to make a really strong structure while having a lot of space to mount stuff off of. But here we can see, I think you're missing either, I mean, put standoffs there, spacers there, but even on top, put a one by one or poly, whatever you want. But I think this is pretty important because during a comp, if someone rams into this piece right this is not very not very strong right it's just a c channel it's not boxed it's just sitting on your drivetrain and there's a shaft on it which will affect the friction of your drivetrain right and not until the whole drivetrain which is like still bad but not as bad it's one side of the drive drive which means if, if someone rams into this piece this piece bends your whole your half the drive's friction is gets cooked and then and then you're going to move on and and your code's gonna be cooked because one side's gonna be moving quicker. But overall, the rest of this route looks pretty pretty clean. This is uh this is tech. This is tech. The untension bands. <laughs> so it has leeway. That's cool. Alright. So we changed a lot of, or changed a ton of stuff. We're currently building it in person. I sent the pictures of our RL, but we got comp next week getting feedback. Lucky guy. He's getting feedback. The once, once a month, once a month, I have like a speech issue right now because I'm really tired. But here we are. Okay, basketball bot, and honestly, like if I'm, I'm surprised you, you guys are doing this. People right now who are designing are just straight up just going straight for the, straight for the meta, going straight for the the snacky or the. Or the the Ray one bots, but this is nice too. This is very very nice. I like to see this a lot, especially with these small wheels. That's really cool. They have the Magnum wheels. I, I don't think Magnum wheels are really ever useful in Vex, but but it's cool. It's very cool. So that's that's very nice. Any any suggestions though? First up is just I mean change just change just change these. Like I think these are I think these are just one just one flats just. <laughs> Um, I would just change them to at least one by ones or standoffs. They would do you much better. I think four one four eight Z was it? They they've done a low strength axle bracing, which is also really cool. I would look at the robot from from I think it's I think it's over under. Maybe it's high stakes. Honestly, the seasons are are passing. I I am I am an unk now, so. Yeah, kind of sad, but anyways, cool robot. I I like it. All right, first calm. Kind of nervous. Dang, looking very good here. For two seasons ago, <laughs> Jane caught a robot. Rebuild will be coming soon, but in the meantime, we'll live with our mistakes. Any tips to make this better? Honestly, it's not even that bad. This is pretty good. Like one thing is. They had you see how you have a flexible roller layer here. I feel like if you were to make the 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 in between, the in between is high strength high strength shaft collar or sorry high strength shaft spacers right now, which doesn't really have grip. But if you change those to something that has more grip, or even just like put something that has grip over it, um, such as like the mesh. I don't know. You wrap the mesh around it, or you just change it to like sprocket rollers and make it make make, make it do that i think it would 
really fun about the last one's quicker, right? I think uh, it's just personal, but this is pretty nice. Anyways, another Raekwon bot. Love, love to see it. Is that a passive drop? How does that work? I'm not gonna question it. I think maybe like whenever they they start moving, this thing just falls off because because of the movement. That's kind of oh no, because they have pistons here. So this push down and this is just gonna pop out because it's not gonna hold all that force with the piston, unless it does. But <laughs> but it won't. Very very light build here. You're using a lot of one by ones and drilling through standoffs. Dang. You guys are doing anything to get that weight down. And also using screw joints here. Wow, this is very tech. If you're this team, nicely done. And if you're some other team trying to build a, a rake one bot, this is how you do it. They have done quite mostly everything right, I think. They have a, a lot of standoffs drilled. You gotta know how you're drilling these standoffs, man. I don't think we drilled standoffs much ever. Uh, we only bent them, but but this is pretty cool. Very, very nice. Double park. Yeah. That is that is. Tough. You put your hand there. We 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 all know this is fake because you put your hand there. No, I'm just kidding, but looks like it's just a a plate that pops down. I think that might just be the bottom of the intake. To be honest, I'm not even too sure. Like. It just comes down and it presses on the on the block. That's cool. Daniel Handley, Unt untuned. I mean, what's well, it's too dark? I'm not gonna worry about it. Calm, ready. Very calm, ready. The rig one robot. So many rig one bots. First thing I see is you gotta make sure the front is is connected, man. I know the rest of this is connected, but why, why don't you connect the front too? It's lacking some love. You gotta connect that. And also high strength shafts. Why do people use high strength shafts? I, I mean, like, it's strong, but the friction's kind of mid. And also, it's just so heavy. Like, a low strength shaft does the exact same thing. Because if you put it here, like, n no one's gonna be ramming your your shaft, bro. It's all good. You don't need it. You don't need to keep it there. Anyways, other than that, pretty nice. And they're comp ready. Okay, dang, this is clean. Um, it just just looks really fat, and uh, and it's not a not a not a meta buy anymore, but but it's very very cool. And that's what we like about it. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like you you're not using high strength shafts. That's that's nice, keeping the weight down, right? Dang, half cut gears everywhere. Dang, these guys know ball. They know a lot of ball. They got the wings as well. This is a techie robot. I wonder if they if they free built this. <laughs> it looks like is this tech, this is tech too. What's going on over here? You got like a tiny cut here, and then you got two one by one stacked. What are we doing? So much tech. Unheard of tech. Instead of instead of pushback. Didn't do much today, but at least got intake hooked up. That's cool. You got bro. Is this how you CAD? Yeah, bro. That's, a, that's an amazing CAD right here. My bot is low-key cooked. Middle barely works right now. You know what? Props to you for making a snacky robot. At least it's harder to make than a than a Rayquan one, I think. So, you know, not not too bad. But for the middle, I mean, talking about the middle, I mean, it just like tune the distances, you know? Tune the distances of the of the sprockets. If you if you catted it, then you can make sure that that the that the ball, whenever it goes in, it's always within the the area of the sprockets. But if you didn't cat it, then then you gotta just trial and error until it works. Anyways, once again, thank you guys for watching and supporting me. All right, peace.